Hello, this is my 1966 BSA C15. Um, I've had it about a week now. I bought it along with another three other bikes. Um, I bought this as a keeper. Um, what I hope to do with it is I'm currently just tweaking with a 1959 Malta Guzzi Lodola, which is a 250, which I'm hoping to sprint on the sounds just quarter mile just for a bit of fun and, and I thought just in case it's playing up I just need a little backup bike as well so I'm looking at the C15 in the hope that this this might fit the bill um, when I looked at it it was in a dark garage it was as I say with three other bikes it's not been run for the last 25 years um, I mean on the surface it looked it looks a nice little bike and it's turning over so I'm hoping we're not going to have a lot of problems with it. Um, I've had a quick look in the tank and it smells awful. It, uh, the petrol's obviously turned to uh, treacle in there. Um, and I'm assuming the carburetor will be the same. So, I mean, one of the first jobs we'll have to do is take this tank off and clean it out. Um, it's a simple job to take it off. I've disconnected the petrol pipe and um, there's just a central nut which is here which I'll take off and I should be able to get the tank off then. Um, I've loosened it up so I'll just take this off now. Um, I mean looking over the bike I'm, I'm really pleased with it. It's been it's been messed with a lot. Uh, there's a lot of non-standard bits, um, speedos, non-standard, headlamp, I'm not sure. It's obviously had cafe racer sort of supports for the headlamp. The forks, I'm not sure. I've been told there's a bigger carb on it, but um, I've not had a good look yet. I've not stripped it off and had a look. Um, I've seen if there's a spark, I put a brand new battery on and um, just put a new spark plug in and that's sparking well so it's a good start so I'll just help to get this tank off now not a lot of room in here right. so that's the tank off just that one sim simple simple nut on the top there put all these back so I know where they are um, I say I've never never had a petrol tank smell this bad before, but it's um, and there's a lot of lot of rust in there. Um, there's a bit of fuel still in there. Um, I'm just going to get the container to pour that into, and um, we'll have a look. Just got a tray here, we're just gonna have a look at see what the fuel's like in here. Taps absolutely solid. Absolutely awful. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, that's that's petrol or not. Um, I've had a quick look on the internet and uh, various techniques of, of cleaning the rust out of the tank, and um, I've gone with 
which I hope is going to work, just a non-brewed vinegar. Uh, I'm going to put that in the tank and see if it'll clean that, uh, that rust off. And then uh, I bought a, an epoxy sealant. Uh, we'll then seal, seal the tank. Um, so, next process is to basically put some of this There's various vinegars, but brewed, non brewed, it's about 5% this. So, because it's, because it's an acid, it should, should clean off. Get this in without spilling it everywhere. I'm hoping this is the right thing to do. Time will tell. this paint because I don't really want to do a lot to the bike. I want to leave it in this condition really. Just get it running well and uh, sprint it as it is. It, it won't be fast I don't think but uh, this is just more for a bit of fun this. I think it's uh, it'll sound well. It's a four British four stroke with uh, got a reverse common megaphone on it. See, it's taken uh, even in that time. It's cleaned a lot of the rust that was just uh, visible there. So I'm quite pleased with that. I'm going to leave that a few hours now and uh, we'll see what effect it has. See you in a while.